Thank you. Let's get started. I'm Ban Jun. I'm currently working at Zoe Technologies. I love live photos and input methods. I have created those apps as my side projects. We developed Zototan app. It's a very useful app. You can buy fashion items via internet. Oops. Today, I'll talk about auto layout. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there are roughly two ways to use auto layout. Two ways. You should definitely think of the brand new sideways. But this talk is about code. There are several patterns when we use code. Domain-specific language library, visual format language, layout anchors, and more. We use visual format language in this talk. We call visual format language VFL. VFL is a language for defining auto layout. This is an example. It's provided by Apple SDKs. Plus a below. VFL creates multiple constraints at once using a compact expression. It's like ASCII art and generates readable diff when changed and it creates only valid constraints. Mm. Okay, next, concept below. VFL itself is not valid at compile time. It can cause error in runtime. And it actually needs some boilerplate. Uh, there is no support, uh, I mean, I, there is no explicit support for neither layout margins or safe area. In fact, an uh, auto layout lab engineer told me in this week that there is an undocumented way. I will do follow-ups in my Twitter. I try to iterate. In this talk, we focus on the last two boilerplate, and safe area support. To reduce the boilerplate, I have created a Synlapper library for auto layout. It's named North Layout. Before using North Layout, take a short look at code defining auto layout programmatically. You need to write trivial calls such as setting up view hierarchy or enabling auto layout for each view. And then you write VFS with many redundant parameters. It makes some noise. Using North React, you can focus on defining constraints in VFL. For example, this code enables auto layout, add views to the root view, and defines constraints, like below. If you change the layout code, its diff size is very small. Like this. And this. Next, I'll talk about safety support of VFL. Unfortunately, VFL does not support safe area. But 
I want the right constraints for safe area as easy as VFL. Now what we need is not the original pure VFL. We need an extended VFL. Right. <laughs> The idea for extending VFL to support safe area is that we introduce double vertical bars syntax in addition to the original single vertical bars syntax. Single vertical bar defines super view bands. We use double vertical bar as layout margin bounds. Here is the difference. Extended VFL, we call it eVFL for now, can contain double vertical bars. It defines constraints to layout margin instead of super V bounds. So, why do we use layout margins? One reason is layout margins actually for a safe area. We can make use of them. Another reason is layout margins are active on all iOS devices. That means you can test layout constraints in any devices without branching. This example does not use safe area guide, but it read contents in the safe area. Layout margins reflect safe area like this. Now, let's implement the extended VFL to support layout margin. Let's look at the conversion as data flow. Standard auto layout engine can consume a VFL. Now, we use eVFL and should make some conversion for auto layout. We need a parser and decomposer. Decomposer extracts edge constraints denoted as double vertical bars. The constraints refer to layout margins. The remaining parts are pure VFL. We can put this into autoread engine. As it's swift error, I have defined the parser using a typed parser combinator. I use, I use the footrest parser library. Abstract syntax tree for eVFL is very straightforward. It comes from VFL grammar in Apple documentation. Custom type definitions follow ASD definition. Note that enum band is modified for extended VFL. This is the only different part between VFL and my extended VFL. The other parts are the same as the original VFL. Use footless parser to define parser is rather difficult but checked by the Swift compiler. This is an example. This fixes an icon and level levels may be positioned below the sensor housing. Take a look at the icon constraint. Just use double bars to fix it. This is the result screenshot. I achieved with a very tiny diff. 
as we see, you can use layout margins with the extended BFL and minimize your code changes. That's all. Thank you for coming into great conferences.